sparging your solvent. Working in an anaerobic environment like the one we have on a Schlenk manifold or in a glove box means that molecular oxygen dissolved in liquids has to be removed before we can use them. The most straightforward technique to do so is called sparging. The word sparging isn't one that I use outside the chemistry lab. To me, its only meaning is to bubble gas through a liquid to remove other dissolved gases or volatile components from that liquid. Thanks to Henry's law, we know that the presence of a dissolved gas in a liquid is proportional to its vapor pressure over that liquid. By displacing oxygen with pure nitrogen gas and by bubbling nitrogen somewhat forcefully through the liquid, we can eventually drive away oxygen from the liquid. Now, let's see how Nick does this. We started our Schlenk manifold, but we'll only need to use the nitrogen inlet. Take an air-free flask, preferably a Strauss flask, and fill it with your liquid. Then connect one tap of the Schlenk manifold to your flask using a 2440 hose barb adapter. Don't forget the grease and a clamp or rubber band to keep it firmly in place. We will be operating at higher than atmospheric pressure. Open up your tap to nitrogen and begin flowing nitrogen gas into your flask. Place a rubber septum over the open port on the flask. You'll see Nick is burping the line as nitrogen flows out. This is just to make sure that the septum doesn't capture a small plug of air as he closes it up. The flask is now under positive nitrogen pressure, but there's no bubbling. On a second tap, attach a long needle to the hose. We're using a plastic syringe barrel here to make the connection. But a big safety note, needles can poke you, and that can lead to injury and exposure to hazardous substances. Please be careful. With nitrogen flowing out of the long needle, insert it into the flask and below the surface of the liquid. You can close the flask's nitrogen inlet and insert a pressure relief needle to ensure a moderate flow of gas through the liquid. Slow motion. Bubble nitrogen gas through the liquid for 20 minutes. You might notice the flask is getting colder. That's because there's almost certainly a fair amount of evaporation occurring. We're losing some of our liquid. Only sparge a liquid if it's done in a fumid, if the chemical is not especially hazardous, and if we can afford to lose some to evaporation, aka it's cheap. After 20 minutes, pull your long needle up above the surface of the liquid while keeping it still inside the flask. Remove the pressure relief needle and then reopen the nitrogen inlet to the flask. You can now remove the long needle and the septum. You may close up the flask using a Teflon stopper. Your liquid is now oxygen free.